Morning. Oh, good morning. Mr. Sanford? No, I'm Mr. Sanford. This is my son. Uh, Mr. Kelly thought you fellas might be interested in buying some scrap copper. How much are you asking for it? Well, not too much. Fact is, I'd like to sell it and have it done with it. I don't have much of a head for business. Besides, uh, I could use the money. How much do you want? Well, uh, I got a couple of hundred pounds. I was thinking of maybe, uh, ten cents a pound. How much did you say? Ten cents. Is that too much? Oh, no, no, no. It sounds like a fair price. Listen, now I want to go in here and discuss this with my partner. See, we're business partners and we have to make all our decisions together. And we'll be right back. Okay. Come on, partner. Did you hear that, Pop? Now, he's selling that copper for 10 cents a pound. Now, I looked that up in the, in the paper this morning. You know what it's going for? 38 cents a pound. Then why is he selling it us for a dime? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he was going to ask for more, but did you see how I handled that deal, Pop? I was cool, man. I wasn't even interested. <laughs> I don't like his looks. What's the matter with his looks? What's his looks got to do with this? You got them sneaky blue eyes. <laughs> Pop, we can make 28 cents profit on every pound. Well, why don't he know that? Just cause he's white don't mean he's dumb. <laughs> stolen, Mark. I don't know, Pop, listen. Now, the guy's not in the business, and you heard what he said. Now, he just wants some money. He just wants to get rid of it. Telling you, stolen, that's what it is. Stolen goods. Pop. All right, then you ask him where he got it from. Okay, I'll ask him. Now, you just stay out of this and let me take care of it. I'm the businessman. Oh, business. You're gonna mess up the whole deal. Shut up. <laughs> uh, there's, there's something I wanted to ask you. It's... What, is there something the matter? Well, not exactly. It's just that my part. Well, that is my dad. Well, he'd like to know where you acquired the copper. Oh, well, sure. Be glad to tell you. You see this, this church that I'm a member of? Mm. Well, they're tearing it down. It's the Church of the Communal Soul. You ever hear of it? No, as a matter of fact, I haven't. Well, what are you folks, Baptist? No, Greek Orthodox. <laughs> <laughs> well, what difference does it make? We're all brothers, aren't we? I ain't got no brother, I got two sisters. <laughs> well, I know you're not gonna believe this, but they're tearing down our church to make room for a parking lot. That's progress for you, isn't it, Mr. Sanford? Hmm. Plenty of room for automobiles, but well, what are the poor worshippers supposed to do? Learn how to kneel in the back of their car. <laughs> well, anyway, when they were tearing down the church, the minister said to me, he said, Otto, you've been coming here longer than anybody else, so you just take all the plumbing supplies. Oh, well, then it's all legitimate. Well, yeah. Well, what'd you think? Oh, well, what did I tell you? Now, I could have had the organ, too. But I said, no. I said, let's give the organ to a home for senior citizens for their community singing. Hey, that was sweet of you, Otto. Well, do unto others, I always say. Isn't that what you always say, Mr. Sanford? No, I say a lot of other things. You want to hear some of them? <laughs> Listen, just pay him no attention. Now, I'm going to go in the house and we're going to discuss this thing with him. Come out here and get the whole business deal straight. Excuse us. Okay. Now listen, I don't want you to go lousing up this deal. We're gonna buy that copper. It's stolen goods, I'm telling you, it's stolen. I mean it, we'll all get caught and me and you and Blue Eyes will go to jail. <laughs> Only they'll put Blue Eyes in the new building. <laughs> Would you stop worrying and give me the 20 bucks? I don't like this deal. Something about it ain't kosher. <laughs> ain't what? Ain't kosher. Who'd you get that word from? From Kelly? <laughs> Kelly. <laughs>